But we begin here tonight with that deadly plane crash in Pacoima. The pilot of that Cessna 182 killed when it crashed into a neighborhood near Whiteman Airport this afternoon. NBC4's Gordon Tukumasu begins our team coverage from the crash site. Gordon. Well, Michael, the burnt and mangled remains of that plane still remain here at the site right now. Take a look. You can see it. It's going to be probably here for a few more hours. There it is in the middle of Sutter Avenue. Aviation accident investigators still here looking for clues. For hundreds of people who live close to Whiteman Airport, the day had started off normally enough. I was laying down. But then Janet Torres says she heard a tremendous explosion. She ran outside to see plumes of black smoke filling the sky near the north end of the property. She says she knew what it was right away. It happens all the time. Crashes? Yeah. News Chopper 4 Alpha over Pacoima just before noon. Down below, just a few hundred yards from Whiteman Airport's northern border, the smoldering wreckage of a small plane. LA City Fire says the aircraft was approaching runway 12 to land when it hit the ground and burst into flames. The solo occupant uh, was determined dead by firefighter paramedics and was beyond any medical help. It caught two nearby vehicles on fire. It damaged a third vehicle. Those cars Cars were parked at the time, no occupants, but the crash sent flying chunks of burning debris toward a house on North Sutter Avenue. Janet Torres's friend lives in that house. She told us her friend was inside with her grandson and two dogs. She called Janet to tell her they'd escaped through a back door, thinking the house was going to burn down. Well, she wasn't saying much because. She's Janet Torres' friend was examined by paramedics here at the scene as a precaution. She did, however, decline any further treatment. No doubt tonight she's thinking about how just how close that airplane came to hitting her house. Live in Pacoima, Gordon Tokumatsu, NBC4 News.